Hello, my name is Mamalian. I'm a research student at Tokyo Medical and Dental University. The paper I will presenting today is titled The Role of Microglia and Glutamatergic System in Neuropathic Pain. Pain that serves as a survival mechanism is a warning signal to the organism from tissue damage that has occurred or is about to occur. When this injury occurs in the nerve system, it leads to neuropathic pain. In this review, the process of quantitativity and the pharmacological change that occurs in microglia in neuropathic pain and how such changes evoke the pain hypersensitivity response are discussed from a non-neural perspective. At the same time, glutamate signaling pathways between neurons and glial cells and normal conditions, as well as the dysregulation of the glutamatic system in different models of neuropathic pain are discussed. Based on the current researches, damage due to afferent pathway has been found to be a prerequisite for the development of the neuropathic pain. After prefrontal nerve injury, increased expression of ion channels in generate and intact nerve fibers leads to ectopic electrical activity triggered by a lower threshold for action for tensions. Moreover, ectopic electrical activity is considered to be the main feature of neuropathic pain. Firstly, it has been shown that sustained ectopic activity of noisy passive afferent not directly related to the nerve injury is associated with uh, mutations in SCN9A genes, the voltage gate sodium channel. In addition to the sodium channels, other ion channels and receptor proteins are involved in this process. For example, upper grade of voltage gated potassium channels after nerve injury can also lead to changes in membrane excitability. Secondly, once an injury has occurred, inflammatory meditators such as uh, calcitonsin, uh, gene-related pa uh, peptides and substance P listed from nociceptive endings increase the vascular permeability leading to local adamary and escape of poor stage glandins, uh, brandy kinin, growth factors, and cytokines. This, these substances can excite and sensitize nociceptive factors, including lower discharge thresholds and ectopic discharge. Thirdly, allodynia and hyper hyperogenesia resulting from secondary ectopic discharge in adjacent regions of damaged nerves also required the involvement of the neurotransmitters. For example, sustained physophilations of the NMDA and AMPA receptors in prefineral afferent fibers that release excitatory amino acids and neuron peptides within the dorsal horn of the spinal cord leads to the post-synaptic changes in the neurons that exhibit the hyper excitability, allowing the lower threshold mechanosensitive A beta and A delta afferent fibers to active second order nociceptive neurons. In brain readings, microglia plays an important role in emotional and memory-related aspects of neuropathic pain, which implies that non-neural cells in the nervous system are also engaged in the pathology, psychological mechanism of the neuropathic pain. Microglia detect the changes in their surroundings through a highly differentiated process. Depending upon the nature of the stimuli, uh, microglia cells in a resting surveillance state may respond by transforming to uh, phenotype 1 in this figure. With reduced cellular process, then resume to a, a resting state. However, uh, microglia activating signals may also drive pharmacological changes towards reactive phenotypes, which responds to initial activating signals invading immune cells 
and further feedback signals from astrocyte and neurons by shifting to repaired oriented phenotype. Altered microglion may shift to uh, reactive phenotype 2 and form their either commit to reactive phenotype 3, which may result in death of the cell or lead to stage 3.1, and either immigration to the bloodstream or uh, discolation termination and uh, resolve to resisting stage or post-activity microglia with a reduced number of processes. Alternatively, from reactive phenotype 2, the cell may transfer to reactive phenotype 2.1 and ultimately undergoing retransformation to resisting several line state. In addition, it was discovered that P2Y uh, preo sector 12 and transmembrane protein 16 uh, participate in the process of microglial pharmacological changes and their uh, deletion significantly reduced the pain hypersensitivity response. ATP induced microglial process extension and migration through P2Y12 receptors. When ATP binds to P2Y12 receptors, the signaling pathway activates the integrin receptors. Activation of integrin receptors leads to an increase in microglia adhering to ECM, which is required for the process extension. Air glomate is an essential neurotransmitter involved in neuron and glial cells interactions, and the main transmitter released by sensory afferents in the nerve systems, which means that glutamate performs a pivotal role among the pain related neurotransmitters. The expression of glutamate receptors and the transporter proteins is deregulated in chronic pain. The evolution of extracellular glutamate levels can contribute to the development of neuropathy. When the central nervous system or peripheral nervous system releases glutamate in excessive amount, the neurons are overexcited by glutamate and large amounts of calcium ions are introduced into the cells triggering the series of destructive events that result in damage or death or nerve cells and glial cells in the brain or spinal cord. In normal conditions, glutamate conducts excitatory signals across glial cells and neurons via the glutamate and glutamine circle, as shown in this picture. Errors in any part of the glutamate glut glutamine cycle can lead to the imbalance in glutamate release and uptake result in the disruptions in neurological signaling, thus bring about the one set of serious neurological or psychiatric disorders. In summary, by X mine the role of microglia as a type of non-eurosystem cells in regulating neuropathic more and more researchers have also embarked on exploring the mechanism underlying the onset and maintenance of this disease from the non-neural perspective, thereby providing new insights into the therapeutic strategies that target the mechanism of disease onset. On the other hand, the excitation of the gluten metric system is also a major feature of neuropathy. Although the underlying mechanism of interaction between the glutamatoric system and neuropathic are not fully explained, previous studies have shown that the art the regulation of glutamatoric related receptors and transporter proteins can be detected under different models of neuropathic pain. That is all. Thank you for your listening.